Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome again to channel 48. Well, I'm here with some news. I'm going to start with the S5. Calvat fixed the boot delay that we had uh, in the previous video, showing a boot delay from 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That is now brought back to the official boot delay that was already very long. You know, remember uh, the standing on Samsung. That was always with the KOTE a little bit longer than these other phones. And that is now again the case. It's now back to original that time that you had to wait uh, originally is now as well the same for the android 12 rom um the android 12 for the samsung galaxy s6 by fake manone was as well updated um he fixed uh, several things um so all those that saw the video from yesterday or the day before yesterday will get these builds yeah that goes along uh, as well with uh, a thought that that fake manone got and that was to look at Android 13. I told him to take it easy. You know, we don't want to overstress this guy. We just want to, you know, keep him. So I said, take it easy only if you really feel to, you know, actually look into that direction. Do it and do whatever you want to do. But, you know, don't stress yourself. It's not that we are, you know, uh, 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 dying to get it or so. It will come in its time. The S7. The S7 got updated with the, Septem the September security patches. This is as well a development by uh, by iPhone and the S8, of course, including the Note 8 and the S8 Plus and the 7 Edge. They all got updated with the September security patches. Linux 4 as well did not uh, let the grass grow on the pave. Um, he as well updated and we now as well have um, Android 13, Linux OS 20 with uh, the security patches from September uh, available. So that is just like, wow. Okay, I will put all the links for you so you can all just get the build. And uh, the S10 users, by the way, in the S10 video that I showed, I, I said uh, that after you installed the Linux OS recovery, you had to first copy the Linux OS recovery to the internal of the phone. That I want to correct, uh, just uh, the recovery. Uh, and then whenever you install the Linux OS recovery uh, as an image by selecting as well recovery partition, you will have the Linux OS recovery. And then the ROM itself, you should copy to a micro SD card that you then push into the phone. Because from all the Linux re uh, OS recovery, you can only select uh, a SD card, I found out. Not You cannot select uh, the internal drive to grab a file or so. At least that was not possible uh, in the S10 uh, recovery. Okay, so make sure you have a micro SD card and copy the ROM to there and just go into the Linux OS recovery, point to the ROM and it will be updated automatically for you. Okay, if you had the previous. And then um, we had the S5, the S6, the S7, uh, the S8 and the S10. Um, all these ROMs got, got updated in some way. Yeah, the S6, 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 the S6 as well. Um, and the Edge is working really, really good. Um, as well, the flat. I'm still on, on ROM 1 on the flat because, yeah, it's working so good for me. Uh, and, you know, for me, it's, it's my, my late night uh, device. Bring it with me, uh, place the radio for me until, you know, I fade away. And in the morning when I wake up, the thing is still playing music and battery life just drained from maybe 100% to 60 or so. That is for me very acceptable, especially if the thing plays music for me so long. But then again, I turn off the screen. Uh, I make sure that, that no other applications are running on the background. I have no gaps installed. So, yeah, it all works really good for me. I'm very happy about how it works. So, yeah, I think... I have it all here for you. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the S5 and at the Note 8 and, of course, the S10 uh, that I just updated. All these phones are now updated with the latest uh, September ROMs. Even though Calfat is saying uh, on XDA that he uh, uh, matched the September security patches, it's still showing August. Um, not that I care, really. Uh, the September security patches, to me, are not important you know, if we are only on the 7th or 8th of September. I mean, that is pure luxury that we're getting from Linux uh, 4 and from iPhone. You know, these guys, they are just, yeah, I don't know. They they work 24-7. So, yeah, um, most of the times, this is not even the case with, with, with many manufacturers that are selling phones. They are never on time with updates. So, yeah, um, this is all 
which is fine. Kalfa, don't worry about it, okay? Uh, and that's why uh, I will as well not uh, mention it in this video. Uh, but for those that saw it on XDA, I, I just left a message for him that, um, yeah, in fact, the patches are still showing August. And he just answered me and he said that the uh, patch uh, was not uh, changed to September by Google okay so uh, but they are merged but the delay time is definitely fixed no more two minutes and 20 seconds wait time before the thing starts booting you know the thing now boots as a real klte with the as well long boot delay that these phones have uh, from yeah original already so yeah that's it phone number one numero uno the s5 this phone has development thanks to mr calvat if you could remember when you got your S5, then you will know that this is something very special that we are all looking at. Having this phone with its little 2% of battery, after all these years, the battery as well lost its capacity. So I will have to get new batteries because these projects go on. I as well have some other. I have the Neo and the 901. That's the Plus. The Neo has a development by uh, official Linux OS. I don't think it's supported by uh, by Calvat. The Neo. Maybe that will still come one day. I don't know. But I have the Neo. I have the Plus. The Plus is on uh, Android 9 Micro G. I thought it went off. <laughs> we still have a stable 2% battery there, peeps. Stable as a rock. Okay, and there we go. And the boot delay should be gone now. To them. This is normal. This is very normal. The original as well stand this long on. Yes, there we go, there we go. This is normal, eh? Did, did you did you measure the time? This is the normal uh, uh, boot delay that we have on the on the S5. The S5 is just yeah, it has a longer boot delay, um, and this 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 comes really close to the original. It's not like uh, for instance the the S8 or the yeah some other phones. They show the Samsung logo and immediately starts booting. Nothing like that. This phone already had a long boot delay. Original. And there we go. And this is the very first stable Android 12 build. And I'm happy to show it because it's just yeah, amazing. You see, we can as well update Lineage OS Recovery. If you're going to use this recovery, you need a micro SD card. Other than I said in the previous video, uh, oh yeah, help improve. But of course, you cannot skip that book. You cannot. And there we go. All right, so that is the S5 updated. So let's continue with uh, the Note 8. Now I'm looking at my Note 8 peeps. Uh, this one was just updated as well. And here you can see since September security patches. This was uh, by iPhone. And uh, yeah, I just, just did a clean install onto this 15 euro note that has a broken Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is not working, no Wi-Fi in this thing. You see that? I can only use it with a 4G internet card. And that's how I yeah, use this phone. I just put in my 4G card. And then, yeah, if I want to bring this phone with me. But, yeah, it's now just, uh, yeah, I use it for making films and things like that. The S6, the G920F. I see that the user, Fabo90, he had uh, Lineage OS 18 on his device. He tried to flash 19 and he did that without uh, format data. So yeah, he only flashed uh, advanced and it was hanging and it was not working for him. So I told him to go back, make a backup of whatever he had uh, still on the phone and do a format data and then reboot back recovery and flash the ROM. He did that, he said it's still hanging. I don't know what's wrong with his phone. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and update mine to the second build because I was still running the first build even though my 
device looks a little bit different than yours, the UI. I'm using my own launcher. Okay, so we're gonna go into a recovery mode. You can see the Galaxy S6, very nice phone. When I got this phone, I bought, I bought it, I bought this phone in a time when it was still very expensive. I bought it for 50 euros from some guy out of Roden. And uh, the phone was turning off out of itself. Uh, and yeah, it was crazy. It was acting really, really crazy. You could not depend on it. So then I, I got it. I thought it must be something with the so software from Samsung or so. So I brought it home and uh, I think I made a video about that. I formatted data after I installed Twerp to it. And at the time we were still at uh, 7.12. We had an Oreo, I think, at the time for this phone. This was very difficult phone. It, wait it always waited very long to get to get rooms. So that's why we are so happy with Fake Manon. I'm not going to do a wipe. I'm just going to do an install on top. You see? Here you can see the build of uh, 19 from 23rd. And this one is from the 27th. This is the second build. This one. I'm just going to install it on top of the Lineage OS 19 that I already had. I did not install GAP, so I will not have no problems with uh, with the update. It will leave whatever was in data in data. That means the applications that I installed before will all still be there because those were installed in the previous build in build one. Okay, and I must say that uh, yeah, I was still on build one because yeah, it was working so good for me. I had no issues with it. I loved it. So let's see how the updated build will work. We have 56% of battery. But then I got this phone and I installed Twerp to it. And uh, I don't know. Suddenly it was fixed. It never turned off. Ever again. This phone looks in a brand new state. It's 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 in mint state. It doesn't have a scratch because the guy protected that with a very 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 good uh, screen uh, protector. So sometimes when you have a phone, a Samsung phone, and it's doing crazy things on the official firmware and turning off out of nothing and, and these kinds of things. It's not always the phone, eh? Or the battery or so. It's not always uh, these things. Can as well be software. One thing I know, it never ever failed on me again. After I, uh, you know, installed Twerp, formatted data, all the partitions, formatted them. Because, yeah, that's, that's as well what I did. Repair partitions. Formatted them to X2 and then back to X4. And these kinds of things, you know. Before flashing the actual ROM. And it helped. The phone never, never died again. Out of itself. So I love this phone, man. Really, I love this phone. I always love this phone, the SX. It's a very, very nice phone. As well the Edge, yeah. We updated the Edge yesterday, so the Edge is already on the newest build. And this is yeah, the second build for the Zero F FL Tex, the G920F. Un très joli téléphone, Marie. We arrived. Lights are going on. Hello, bonjour. And you see, we are back in where we were. Only now we have an updated phone. So that is as well fixed. So, uh, yeah, this phone might get Android 13 soon, you know, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to stay quiet about that because I don't want uh, this project, you know, to suddenly become obsolete already. I mean, like Android 12. He just started with it. So we have the S6 updated. Uh, we have the Note updated. Note 8. Um, we have 
the S10 updated. This is the S10. It's still on. Oops. You see that? S10 is as well updated. Nice, eh? these, these cases. I get them at the action. And uh, the S7. Yeah, the S7. The S7 I'm going to update as well. Because the S7 as well got the update. But I will do that in my own time because this video is long enough. Well, that was again a video with uh, some little surprises. Uh, boot delays that are fixed. Um, yeah, updates uh, of the Note including the S8, S8 Plus and the S7 and S7 Edge. Uh, yeah, this is just great. Oh yeah, the, um, the ROM from Brother Linux 4 I as well updated. Because when I got the message, I went downloading the ROM immediately and I was like, let me update the phone really fast. So, um, yeah, as well, the ROM by Linux 4 is updated uh, to the very latest uh, September patched Android 13. So, uh, yeah, I want to congratulate everybody out there and thank you so much for your hard work uh, that you did. And, of course, yeah, you're keeping me busy because... I must, of course, tell this great news uh, as soon as possible to my viewers, your viewers, your fans as well. Uh, so I'm very happy to do that as usual. Now you cannot trick me anymore this month, for this month, huh, guys? So <laughs> if you're going to come with a new build, it must be a build with something special built in. Because I think we have it all for this month. For the, for the month September, we have everything that we wish for. You know, our phones updated to the latest Android including the latest security patches and even though it did not show uh, in uh, in the klte it will soon as well show september in the security patch part so yeah uh, kalfat as well thank you uh, linux uh, 4 thank you ivan miller i thank you so much already i don't have to thank you anymore you do so such a great job oh yeah i must as well tell you something um our friend uh, fake manon is as well uh looking at Android 13, he, he said, I did not look at it yet, but the seed was already planted. I say, brother, take it easy, you know, only if you really feel like doing it, you know. So, my prediction is that 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 the Samsung Galaxy S6 is going to get Android 13 as well. And JDC is, is very quiet uh, these last days, so I don't know what JDC is doing there. He, he, they are as well doing something on the background. So, um, many amazing things might still come this very very month for certain devices but yeah that is just a prediction yeah don't bet your money on it all right but yeah most of the times my predictions they come out and sometimes even faster than i predict that they would come you know just like uh, the iphone miller rooms i thought around the 16 15 you know nothing like that the 7 the 8 boom first uh in between build to bring some confusion <laughs> <laughs> and then boom the right after the, the day after the, the 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 updated build and then yeah we must go back to work guys no time to be lazy here at channel 48 so i will try to keep uh, up with uh, with you out there at xda and then i want to thank you for watching i want to thank yeah everybody there yeah i'm not the pope that i'm gonna thank uh, each and every one but you know I, I have much love for you all yeah more love than the pope has for you Honestly, I'm, I'm the Pope of the Rums. <laughs> anyway, hey, I'm not going to make stupid jokes. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, stay well. God bless you. And see you in the next video. That will definitely be my two beautiful Linux 32 and 64-bit distributions for all the laptops out there. Yawal, XP laptops with uh, AMD Athlon processor or with uh, Centrino processor, the XP sticker, and with one gigabytes of RAM. That is what is next. Until then.